What is up? What is up? Happy Friday to each and every one of you guys. Y'all already know Terencio Freeman here, aka Crypto T, all about that blockchain technology. Here to bring you, of course, some crypto fied updates and shenanigans and current events. So, welcome to my channel. For all you first timers here, please do smash that subscribe button, bang the get notifications bell to stay updated, and Make sure that you do smash that thumbs up, guys. Without you, rock stars, I can't build my channel. So thank you so kindly. Now, let, let's get into what has been alleged here on Tony Robbins, who, of course, I am an admirer of. I do have a few of his um, CDs from, like, The Ultimate Edge and The Power Within. And, you know, um, of course, things don't happen if you don't apply. Without the application of trying to live a better lifestyle or changing your lives, there comes sacrifice and you must apply in order to receive and see those results happen in your lives, right? So, here we have Tony Robbins who's being accused of sexual advancements. Uh, now, I wasn't going to use BuzzFeed News because I know they're always full of shit, but the reason why I want to use BuzzFeed on this article or on this video, video is because some of what they said here is so out of pocket, you know? So let, let's, get, let, let's go through it. It says here, Tony Robbins is the world's most famous self-help guru, and this is the story he doesn't want you to read. But look how they do, my man. That's the Tony I know. But look how they do, my man. Why do they do that? Wow. I haven't seen any other articles, so I don't know if they're doing this exact um, image. But uh, this is not cool. Unlimited Power, a BuzzFeed news investigation. Let's see what BuzzFeed um, has to say. So this was posted today, this morning, and allegedly now says the leaked records reveal that Tony Robbins berated abuse victims and former followers accuse him of sexual advances. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys believe this? Yes or no? Comment down below. Tony Robbins claims he has helped millions of fans overcome some of life's darkest difficulties, but leaked records reveal, reveal he has used his fame to berate victims of rape and violence, while female former staffers and followers have accused him of inappropriate sexual advances. Now, this is Jane Bradley, investigations correspondent, and Katie J. M. Baker, BuzzFeed News investigative investigative reporter. So when Tony Robbins uh, leaps on stage in arenas around the world under strobe lights and pulsing uh, speakers, he's greeted by thousands of screaming fans. They clap with him, jump with him, and when he puffs his chest and lets out a primal roar, they roar with him too, which is very true. The world's most famous self-help guru whips crowds into fits of erophia, um, few pops, a few pop stars could dream of, but many of his fans are grappling with life's most serious problems. Victims of sexual and physical abuse, you hear the background of New York City, I do apologize, along with People who struggle with addiction and have mental illnesses illnesses, pay thousands of dollars to see him on the promise he has the power to, in quote, transform your life and, in quote, rewire your brain. At the core of Robin's teachings is the message that his followers should not see themselves as victims and should instead view their pain as something they have the power to, in quote, destroy. He claims to have revolutionized millions of lives with this philosophy while building a multi-billion dollar business. Now, is there anything wrong with being paid, you know, helping people change their lives? You know, you got to be rewarded. You got to get um, paid for your services, right? 
and working with celebrities from Donald Trump and Bill Clinton to Oprah and the Kardashians. Access to the most exclusive membership program has cost as much as, much as $85,000 a year. Way to go, way to go, Tony. That's how you do it. But behind the dazzling veneer, Robbins uh, guards his empire with intense secrecy. <laughs> wow, you see this, man? This is ridiculous, man. Employees are bound by strict confidentiality agreements, and audiences who attend his multi day coaching camps must sign contracts forbidding them from recording what goes on inside. Well, I've been to events where you can't record, you know, and, and I think that you shouldn't because people monetize on that. You know what I'm saying? And copyright infringement issues happen. So, yeah. A year-long investigation by BuzzFeed News based on leaked records, I mean leaked recordings, sorry, internal documents, and dozens of interviews with fans and insiders reveals how Robbins has berated abused victims and subjected his followers to unorthodox and potentially dangerous techniques. Hmm. And former female fans and staffers have accused him of inappropriate sexual advances. Now, again, I'm, I'm not saying that he didn't do it or he did. What I'm saying is we need to see the evidence, man. You know what I mean? Because, of course, there are people out there that will accuse you of doing something that you didn't do. And if you think that Tony doesn't have any enemies, yeah, believe it. Because on your way up, you will accumulate people who hate on you. You, you dig what I'm saying? So this, to me, could be a whole setup, man. I don't know, but I know that women do get raped. Sexual advances happen. I get it, without a doubt. You know, I live in New York City. I, you can see it every day when, you, that when you're in downtown. You know what I mean? Dudes get a little out of pocket. So it says here that uh, two former uh, followers who went on to work for Robbins provided BuzzFeed News with signed statements swearing under oath that they felt he had sexually harassed them by repeatedly, repeatedly pursuing them after they made clear they weren't interested. Isn't this man married? Not saying that married, married men don't do this, but I'm just saying, isn't he married, man? Uh, let me know down below, man, because I, I, I believe he is. Two more women who worked at his uh, assistance uh, said Robbins expected them to work alone with him when he was naked in his hotel room. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that doesn't even... Or in the shower. I know there are people out there that are freaks, man. I'm a freak myself, but goddamn, you know what I mean? Really? You get I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and another former employee said she was fired after having a consensual sexual relationship with Robbins. Hmm. The events described by all five women took place in the 1990s and early 2000s. This is 2019, though. So what, 19, 20 years plus? When Robin's fame was skyrocketing and before he married his second wife. Okay, so, yeah, he's, he was married before. And he's married again. I don't know how dudes do it. Uh, date with Destiny. Tony Robbins. She likes to call it emotional abuse. Uh, you guys, I'll leave you guys the link. So you guys can watch the videos yourselves if you like. Um, secret recordings and transcripts from inside his events reveal Robbins had unleashed explicative, ex, explicative, <laughs> explicative, oh, I got tongue twisted there, explicative laden uh, tirades on survivors of rape and domestic violence after inviting them to share their stories in front of a vast audience. End quote, she's fucking using all this stuff to try to control me close quote is what he said after one woman said she had been raped when in 2018 another woman said her husband was physically violent and emotionally abusive robbins accused of 
accused her of, in quote, lying and asked, in quote, does he put up with you when you've been a crazy bitch? Come on, man. I, I don't know, man. I don't know about that, man. Whoa. They're, they're throwing this dude <laughs> under the bus. And, and again, allegedly is what I will use here. Um, And I will dare say that hopefully this is um false. Hopefully it's false. Because, I, I you know, I would find it surprising that he would do this but you know you don't put it past any of these people who you know make a name for themselves and and give themselves a a a a, a substantial amount of wealth changing their lives including the lives of others you know um again it is a uh, a little suspicious how would they say if that's the right word to use it says, uh, interviews and records reveal how Robbins has created a highly sexualized environment in which both men and women have been told to touch themselves intimately, in intimately and stimulate organs. But he has repeatedly singled women out of the crowd for more personal attention. One secret recording from 2018 captured him laughing as he told a woman in the audience that he wanted her to, in quote, come up on stage and make love to me, close quote. Whoa, 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 dude. And two former bodyguards told BuzzFeed News they were sent out to uh, draw audiences for attractive women on Robin's behalf. Man, I don't know about that, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Again, allegedly, two women told BuzzFeed News they had witnessed it and experienced it themselves. She's fucking using all this stuff to try to control men. This is what Robbins said, okay? So Robbins vehemently uh, denied, in quote, engaging in any alleged inappropriate sexual behavior, close quote. Sending security personnel into the crowd to solicit women on his behalf or making such approaches, or making such approaches, uh, approaches, I get tongue twisted sometimes, making such approaches, that doesn't even sound right, you guys know it, personally, he was, in quote, never intentionally naked, close quote, in front of staff, his lawyer said in a letter, in quote, uh, also says here, to the extent that he may have been unclothed at various times in his home or in hotels when working while either dressing or showering, and whether a personal assistant may have been present for some reason at the time, Mr. Robbins um, has no recollection, close quote. The letter said, Robbins, in quote, admits he had has made mistakes in relationships. Of course, we all do. Of course. And other aspects of his life. But he never behaved in a manner uh, intimidated, intimated by, uh, by these salacious and false accusations. And he has been faithful and committed to his second wife, Sage. Since they married in 2001, no one has, in quote, ever filed a verbal or written sexual harassment or abuse complaint against Mr. Robbins in the last four decades, the letter said. This is what I'm saying. Like, this happened in the late 1990s, they said, and early 2000s, and now you come out? Come on, man. This, this, that's what I'm saying. Like, I know, you know, some women, yeah, they don't want to say anything. They, you know feel embarrassed or whatever the case so be or may feel that they're going to be blamed you know and that happens in some cases as well but you know if it happened then you should have reported it then why wait 20 years later to now make this report well now he's a multi-billionaire come on now the firm denied that robin's uh comments to abusive victims were harmful or that he exposed his fans to potentially dangerous techniques on the contrary, it said Robbins went to, in quote, great lengths to ensure the safety, comfort, and enjoyment of all attendees. 
the Me Too movement has triggered reckonings inside the wide range of professions where men hold sway. Scandal after scandal has engulfed Hollywood giants, politicians, and CEOs, forcing a major change in the, polis- in the politics of sex and power. But the help But the self-help industry, which generates billions of dollars every year, has faced little scrutiny. Yeah, I've been to a few events. Again, things do happen, but nah, I don't think Tony would even dare jeopardize his life. You know, licensed professionals who treat mental health issues must undergo extensive training and follow strict uh, ethical guidelines governing their relations with their clients. Self-help coaching requires no such qualifications or standards, but it creates a potent receipt, a recipe for the abuse of power, setting its, uh, lend, setting its leading lights, setting its leading lights up as godlike figures with answers to life's most painful questions and placing the uh, supplicants who seek their wisdom in their thaw. We got fire, baby. We got fire in the background. Robbins claims that his methods have helped fans overcome severe trauma, averted suicides, and transformed the lives of phobics, the clinically depressed, people with multiple personalities. Whoa. Sorry about that, guys. And, you know, I don't edit my videos. I don't. Like, I go straight wall forward hope you guys don't mind um many credit him with extraordinary breakthroughs they report summoning him summoning the strength to quit dead end jobs launch new companies reunite with estranged family members and, and and of course end toxic relationships and find their soulmates as a result of his teachings some of the women who spoke to buzzfeed news still view robbins with awe and reverend and reverence one said she sees him as someone who, in quote, saves lives. And the fan uh, whom Robbins accused of lying after she said her husband was abusive told BuzzFeed News it was a positive experience and that she was grateful for the advice not to be a victim, which had helped her leave that relationship. But some long staffers long-term staffers, including Robin's former director of security, Gary King, who spoke exclusively to BuzzFeed News, said they were deeply troubled by the psychological impact of his methods on vulnerable audience members. We used to joke about it. People started popping like popcorn. So let's see how much left of this article. It's a pretty lengthy article, guys. Um, yeah, you know, what I'm going to do is I'll leave you guys the link just for the sake of time. Uh, but again, you guys let me know what you guys think. This is a lengthy video and I don't want to, you know, keep you guys here. You guys can definitely read for yourselves. Um, but yeah, you guys let me know what you think, man. There's a lot of stuff going on within this article and allegedly him uh, moving forward towards women. By way of sexual advances, uh, sending out his his bodyguards to go fetch women in the audience. Come on, man. Like, I don't know. Well, anyway, you guys let me know what you think, man. I'll leave you guys the link down below. There's a video here where a lady uh, did say that what Tony had done for her is amazing and that these women are lying. It's somewhere here. Uh, but I will do another video. In regards to this topic because I know that there is a video out there where she speaks and uh, she says that these ladies are lying and you know that he she has never experienced anything like that being with Tony Robbins so you guys let me know what you think down below make sure that you do subscribe bang to get notifications bell and also please smash the thumbs up rock stars i'll see you guys on the next video and have a phenomenal friday night don't get caught up in that fire <laughs> peace